don't know what law means, I'm going to tell you what law means. A law is nothing but a easy word that means power. Power. Okay? That's not God's name. Father, he has a name. Power is just a title, man. You know what I mean? I know you don't. You got no truth. Ain't no light in it. You in darkness. You in complete darkness. I believe in what I believe in. I believe in what you believe in. You must be born in there. Yeah. There is no one. I've read the book. There is a one. I've read the book. Why you ain't there with me? You don't do that. There's no one. This mind is on that paper. What about you? Get, 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 get Proverbs, man. Nobody can judge what the guys say. No, that's not true. No, that ain't true. We out here in church. It was given in our hand. It's in our, yeah, we're God. We are God. We are God. Psalms 82. Oh, uh, yeah. The one they call Jesus. He said that we are God. That's in the book of John. No, we ain't all equal either. Because there's an elect and there's a two-thirds. The scriptures say uh, he don't turn his head from so he, he turns back on the Lord. Turn his back on the Lord. He got scared. <laughs> man can't stand up like a man, you know, to talk about stuff. You know? We out here trying to show love, man. Show we ain't trying love. to make enemies, man. That's we good trying though. to get you to be mad at you. Well, you know what? Scripture says, because I tell you the truth. I, I mean, make you my enemy as Galatians <laughs> 4. Right. Something like that. But he said, uh, so most high God, he's stuck right here because he ran last week, the other week. Oh, yeah. You know, got him marked. He's like, oh shit. Y'all like that hot seat? Right, bring it out. Uh, bring it out. Bring it out. Whatever you got. Uh, you tell me about Proverbs 1. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried for thought. She uttered her voice in the streets. Oh, yeah, so if you claim like you got some wisdom, why aren't you in the streets teaching it? We out here in the streets teaching wisdom. You know what I'm saying? That's because that's why we know we all the ones with that wisdom and that knowledge. All these other clowns, they not out here teaching, putting their lives on the line, putting their reputations on the line. You know what I mean? That's how we know that the Lord is dealing with us. Go ahead. It says, it says she cried from the chief place of concourse. That's the chief place, chief place of concourse. It's downtown. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. In the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her voice saying, How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Oh, yeah. We out here saying, How long, you simple ones, love simplicity? But that's something our people love. They, they like to be simple. You know what I'm saying? They got no truth, no knowledge, no wisdom. All y'all worry about is uh, smoking weed, playing video games, doing a bunch of dumbass shit. You know what I mean? Not worried about no truth, not worried about. The fucked up condition that your people are living in. You know what I mean? Here it is, you everybody poor living in the ghetto, trash all up in the streets, cops beating the shit out of you. And y'all walking around in a lollygagging, you know what I'm saying? In a lackadaisical state. That's why the Lord said, uh, uh, to show yourselves men. You're supposed to show yourself to be a man. Come out here on these streets and teach his word. Yeah, fools hate knowledge. That's why your boy down there, he, he ran away from us. He's like, just leave me alone. That's because he's a fool. <laughs> and through the spirit of the Lord, we're going to proclaim that he's a fool. You see what I'm saying? Leave me alone. He said, leave me alone. Literally. That's something like a little girl or a little chap. Leave me alone. You know what I mean? That's a weak ass spirit to be in. Leave me alone. Right, little girls got more courage than that, bro. To come up and kick you in the shit. Bite you in the shit. Yeah, bite you in the shit. Your boy just ran. The spirit of how you I see. It says, turn ye out my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Right, that's why we are here, because the Lord don't pour the spirit on us. The spirit got on us. That's why we out here on the streets teaching with no fear, no shame. We ain't got no shame. We're not ashamed of the Lord. Because if you afraid to teach on the streets, talking about you love God, you don't love the Lord. You ashamed of the Lord. That's why you were afraid to do his work that you was commanded to do. Go ahead. 
said, because I have caught and he refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right, we out here stretching the hand out. And, you know, most people refuse it. They be like, nah, that's some bullshit. That's... Right. That's why the Lord gonna smack the shit out of these people, bro, when that time comes. And he's already, y'all already got the shit slapped out at you, man. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Because our people in our raggedy low condition, bro. Motherfuckers ain't living good out here. Your boy, man, that's so says, but you have, but you have sat on not all my counsel, but with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right, so, so when the Lord brings that hammer down on you, he's going to laugh at you. When, when them cops pull you over, beat the shit out of you, shoot you, the Lord's going to laugh at you. You know what I mean? When, when that martial law pops off, you see there's already martial law in London. All them terrorist attacks That's happening. And hey, they're going to be a big terrorist attack here. Trial run. Well, that's trial run. They're they going to have martial law. They're going to go door to door. They're going to take the guns. And they're they going to kill a lot of y'all. Kill. They're going to kill you, put you in prison, put you in labor camps. Yeah, they're going to rape you. You know what I mean? It's some, it's some real evil days ahead. You see what I'm saying? Check this out. This is a Bible dictionary in the meaning of scoffer. One <laughs> who scoffs or mocks one playing with trifles. With what? With, look, with um, triflers. Triflers. One triflers. playing with trifles. I try, but that's why you trifling. Look, look, I looked up trifles. Uh uh. Trifles yeah. mean busy right. oneself with trifles, talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's a popular word in the hood, though. Trifling, you say someone's trifling, you trifling ass. Right. You know what I mean? Apparently a reduplication of obsolete. Yeah, so your boy is obsolete. Talking about the Quran. He a Muslim. That's obsolete. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody no goddamn Muslim no more. Uh, or a fiddle in its contemptuous sense. Right. You know, like back in the uh, back in the 70s, it was popular to become a Muslim. Yeah, Lou Alcindor, now uh, uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. 80s too. Yeah, the 80s. 80s. But that shit done died out, bro. Early 90s, because Public Enemy was helping push that. Most of the shit on the whole low, too. That shit done died, and once uh, Louis Farrakhan, uh, once he's put to death, when the Lord wants to, he ain't got much longer. Louis Farrakhan. He's an old man, because they ain't got well, no. They he, ain't might got, be, he might be being preserved, though. Man. He might be preserved. He's preserved from the missiles. Because they ain't got nobody to take his spot, they got his uh, charisma. So they out of there, bro. That, yeah, that shit is obsolete. I gotta remember that. Alright, I got another one though. He said that uh your boy down here that ran from us, he said that only God could judge it. I, I got a scripture for that. Hold on a second. Where is that? Uh, ain't that uh, Corinthians 6? Is that where it's at? You know what I'm talking about? Judge of small matters? You talking about that? Right. You talking about judge of small matters? No, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, that, six, one, that six one too. One. Six. six and two on there. Right, I was thinking six of a Oh, I'm thinking two and fifteen. Get uh, old Corinthians two and fifteen. Uh, first Corinthians 6 and 1. Is there any of you... Having a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints. Right, so if somebody offends you, you don't call the cops, okay? You ain't never supposed to call the cops. The cops is the enemy, that's the devil. They work for Satan. So you're supposed to go to the men of the Lord and take your matter before the men of the Lord, not the cops. Because you call the cops and say somebody robbed you or something, the cops can come and lock you up. I have cops steal shit from me. Right. Steal shit out of my car, you know what I'm saying? Cops. Cops are the enemy. You don't they never call the cops. Serve and protect. Right. They you know, serve and protect. They serve. They sworn in on the body. Right. The cops are here to serve and protect the interests of the elite, not you. Okay. They're here to beat the shit out of you and keep you in a low state. That's what the cops are for. That's obvious. If you can't see that, you're just dumb and you're blind. You know what I mean? The cops is not here to help you. You know what I'm saying? 
And it, like we are, there's no such thing as a good cop. I know it's a good cop. There ain't no such thing as a good cop. Oh, Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith is a goddamn. That's 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 a fictional story. That's just not even true. Andy Griffith and Don Knox. That's on TV. <laughs> that's in Fantasyland. Right. Mayberry. Right. <laughs> Mayberry. That's a funny story. Yeah. Mayberry. <laughs> that's a that's a shit right there. Yeah, that Andy Griffith. Hey, we were watching that the other day. So Andy Griffith, boy. What was that? Oh, man, what was that? What that? Oh, man. Making them apple pies, boy. What was that? What was that? Hey, there you go. I can't remember. Oh, man, Spider-Man. Let me read that. Uh, do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, ye are unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So, right. The people will say that we can't judge, right? But they'll listen to that judge in that courtroom. Let me see you go to that courtroom, run your mouth in there, and say, only God can judge me. He's gonna lock you up, okay? You're not gonna do that because you're a hypocrite, all right? A lot of you people are you just, you're just assholes. Like, Y'all can't judge me, only God can judge me. Go tell that to the, the courthouse, see what happens to you. There's a whole book called the Book of Judges. Right, the Book of Judges. Exactly. It actually literally says they set up this judge. Yep. Yeah, your boy Gideon was a judge. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, Samson. Yeah, she was set up to provoke them Philistines too. Provoke the shit out of them. But the Lord, we didn't set ourselves up as judges and watchmen. You know, we was appointed this position, man. Exactly. From the most hard. But the Lord said, I have chosen you, you have not chosen me. Ezekiel 33. I'm going to start at 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. Right, we the watchmen. There, there's a, uh, the evil days are coming. We out here telling you what's coming. We out here to warn you. Go ahead. He, but his blood will not require at the watchman's hand. Yep. So if we don't do this, the Lord going to kill us. So we got to do this work. Right. We, we know that you gotta fear the Lord, bro. You don't do what the Lord says, he, he, he'll, he'll destroy you. Go ahead. So, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. To the house of Israel. We out here to warn the Israelites. We ain't worried about all these other heathens out here. We ain't worried about no Ishmaelites. We ain't out here to teach no Hamites, okay? We out here to teach the nation of Israel. But the Lord said he came to save the nation of Israel from their sins. The Lord didn't come to save all nations. He came to save the nation of Israel. Go ahead. So thou, O son of man, I have sent thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word in my mouth and warn them from me. Yep. That's why we do what we do. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, O you wicked piece of shit, Hey the, hey, the Lord like in uh, the two thirds under a uh, pile of dung, a mountain of dung. You know what I mean? That's a pile of shit. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. Yes, yeah, so you in your profession to be Islam, a wicked man. You will die in his wickedness. Thou shalt surely. You're starting to get bugged out now. Start, the angels walking in. <laughs> yeah, he get ready. He gonna come over. He gonna right. challenge us. Right. Thou shall surely die. He gonna go. He was going on a jihad. <laughs> yeah. like, this is for Allah. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Why? That's why. We, that's why we warn that dude right there. We tell him, bro. The Lord gonna destroy you if you do this. And I'll be warning him. But it's blood. Will I require it's our hand. Well, Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from him, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his nickel, but thou hast delivered my soul. Yep, so we delivering our souls by coming out here doing this work.
She's a great new coach. She likes this coach. Probably does. Therefore, thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how shall we then live? Yeah, how are we going to live if we ain't out here doing this work? You know what I mean? If you don't do the work in the Most High, the Lord's going to destroy you. Simple. And so... Laugh now, cry later. The house of mercy is about to get torn down. The fucking demons. They from the house of feces. Right. Say unto them, as I live, says the Lord Power, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his wicked from his way and live. Right. We out here because we, we pray that the Lord wakes some of these fools up. You know what I mean? Deliver. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Therefore. Yeah, yeah they just want to die, don't they? Right. They just embrace. Oh, what's that scripture that said? That, uh, they make death their uh, refuge, uh, lies their refuge, and death right. was. Yeah, yeah. The price of sin is death. Oh yeah, the wages of sin are death. Yeah, the wages of sin. The price wage, same death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Therefore, O thou son of man, say unto the children of Israel, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness of thy righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgressions. Right, wait a minute. The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgressions. The righteousness of the righteous will not deliver you? <laughs> Keep going. Uh, we're right. As for because actually you don't even get delivered for your own righteousness anyway. You get delivered because the Lord made a promise and he was going to save Israel. Yeah, that's the same one as kept saying the other day. She she part of the faithful, part of the faithful, part of the faithful. And nothing in her life resembles nothing faithful. <laughs> Literally nothing, man. Nothing. Don't read. <laughs> no. Um as for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he thrust, if he trusts his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. Right, yeah, because it. Right, you, you sit here calling yourself being in the truth too, because you got guys being the truth, but they still gonna try commit adultery or something. All, all, right, all kind of witness. You know what I mean? All kind of witness. Because you think just because like you got a lot of guys out here claiming to be Israelites or whatever. That don't mean shit. Are you talking about the one that hand out flyers? <laughs> Those are good guys. <laughs> These guys are cool. They hand out flyers and shit. What the fuck is that? Their water, their, their water is paper flyers. That's some fucking shit. Blowing away in the east wind. Yeah, they, that shit just blow. Yeah, you see that shit blown in the wind. <laughs> in the east, like you said, the east wind. Hey, the Lord gonna hit him with that east wind, bro. Riverside Hospital. Hey, then so the Lord say coming back out the east. That's right. Hey, that's why they'll go back to the east. You know what I mean? That's right. All his righteous shall not be remembered, but for his iniquity that he had committed. He shall die for it. Turn it away, brothers. Fuck that don't look like them. You know? Oh, they gonna pay for that. I had a dream about that last night. That's a man. huge thing, man. Turn away, brothers. That's literally looking for some truth, man. Looking for some wisdom, some understanding. But they turn away because they don't look like them, man. That's you good, know? though. They gonna pay for that. Yeah. But that's good though, because you know the real men of the Lord ain't doing that shit. Oh, hell no. And we far outweigh th those other faggots. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Put in much more work than them. That's the thing. Right. Is the right. true the true men of the Lord are more diligent and put in more work than them fake ass Israelite camps. Right. Put in way more work than y'all. Y'all are like some part-time Israelites. How you I see part-time. I don't really think they would qualify for part-time. Uh, nah, yeah, they seasonal. You know? Right. Seasonal. 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 You know you know how you get hired on for the holiday season? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that yeah. seasonal work. Because well, you know in the winter they shut down, right? They yeah. go on vacation. So that's why the Lord got the that's how you know who the true true men of the Lord. They yeah. we out there 
in season, out of season. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Judges. There's a reason for that. The true judges work all the time. And we teaching the truth the right way. Like the brother said, uh, we not turning brothers away from the truth just based upon their appearance. You know what I mean? We, we turn them away if based on if they a demon or a heathen. You see what I'm saying? Get out of here. But if somebody believes believes in this truth, we ain't gonna turn them away, bro. Hey, I got a scripture for that. Right, man. Anybody wanna hear a scripture, man? That's, that's what we're right, exactly. So that's out here being oppressed. Feeling like shit, and they wanna hear a scripture to give them some uplifting, man. That's a jank. Exactly. Well, some other nations is living good, man. They ain't living a stressful life, man. Like we just talked to this guy uh, earlier today before we came up here. This homeless guy, he said he lived out in a tent over here somewhere. And the cops woke him up, up one morning, tore his tent down and beat the shit out of him. And, and told him to get lost. Here it is, the man got it bad enough. He's homeless. Got nowhere to live. All he got is a tent. Probably got no property, nothing. And, and they still beating the shit out of him. So that's all you that's an Israelite right there. Yeah, you you can feel you can feel the pain. You know what I mean? I felt bad for that guy. You know, yeah, but look, that's why these cops, they gonna pay, bro. They gonna pay. I got the scripture real quick. Like, 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 like you say, like a guy like that needs some comforting. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why the scriptures is called the comforter. They tell you that in what, John 16? Don't we all need comfort? Yeah, we all need comfort. That's really one of the big parts why we out here to warn. We not only out here to warn brothers, you know what I mean, to teach them, but we out here to comfort them. Yep. How are you doing that? Hit, hit? You be hitting people with scriptures in your dreams. Because you really, dreams are spiritual though. You being. You do some bugged out shit in your sleep. Your act, you might be talking to somebody else that's sleeping or something crazy. You can't explain that shit. You can't explain it, man. But it's amazing, though. I've had brothers. We, here we talk about something that we relate to, that you can't prove it. You know what I mean? Yep. But we all relate to it, though. Oh, you can't. Like, because only, that's the only way that can happen is the spirit is dealing with you, man. Yep. You know? If you relate, man. And you can't see a dream. Right. You, see, you can't right. record it, get it on a DVD, yeah. upload it to YouTube. Right. But it happened, it was there. Right. I had people yeah. teach me uh, scriptures in my dream. Right. They hit me oh, with yeah. a scripture. Oh, yeah. oh, I yeah. wake up and look it up, it'd be the same one they told me. That's crazy. Man. You know, they did not remember it. Right. 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 That's, oh, that's that bullshit stuff. That's bugged out. See, that's a dream. That's bugged out. That's a dream. Yeah. Oh, that's see, the that's the spirit. The wind, just, we just talking about the wind, too. We was just talking about dreams, and we'll go blew it as with the wind. That's how we know the spirit's real. Right, right. You be in, a, you be in, a, in between, like a sleeping, half awake, you be in between that. But in that, in, even when you're in between, you're still in the spirit. You're still thinking about the world and how to fly the scriptures to it, you know. Oh, go ahead. I was, about, I was about to get the scripture. Oh, it said it was clearing up. That's oh, yeah. That's the game goes on. You know how that wind goes. Yeah. Wind blowing. They trying to get some scripture. At Matthew 18 and 6, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Right, like the brother was saying earlier about how you got people, so called Israelites out there teaching the Bible on the streets like I U I C, and say like a, Irish, a drunken Irishman will come up. He interested in the Bible, right? But don't turn him away. He he believed it. That turned him away. So guess what? The Lord said it was the person that turned him away. It was better that you just put a millstone around your neck and <laughs> jumped off a cliff and drowned your damn self. Go commit suicide. That's the Lord saying that. That's the Lord said that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 
You go, just go blow your brains out. It'd be better though. Go, go do a, a, a Robin Williams on your ass. You they wait till the end. That's gonna be the worst. So you might as well just kill yourself now and get it over. Yeah, hey, yeah, just you kill yourself now. Like Judas, Judas Iscariot was a wicked man, but he became righteous when he hanged himself. You know what I mean? So, so for a lot of y'all, the best thing you can do is just commit suicide. That's right. It's real. Our IUIC, y'all should just do a, a Heaven's Gate over there. Go, go to do a Jim Jones. Did everybody just get your little Kool-Aid, your little cyanide, pass the cups out, pray to the Lord for forgiveness, and then kill your damn self. That's right. The wages of sin is death. You know what that mean? Hell All no. your little sinful ways, it's death coming to y'all. Death coming to America. <laughs> Are y'all homosexuals? Death. You never make it to the kingdom of the most high. Hell no. Hell. They know sodomites make it. Nah. They know sodomites make it. They're child molesters. Jesus loves everybody. Blood drinkers. Yeah, that's big blood party. Oh, I, I told you about a little class I had to go to. Bitch was talking about how people like to, uh, you know how people have those little sexual role plays they do? They got something called blood play. Oh, Motherfuckers sit there and cut each other and stuff. That's and they say that's popular now. People to sit there and they sit there and cut each other and then start having orgies while they all cut up. Spreading AIDS and shit. This is Nick and put a video up last week. His mama kicked him out because I told you people got kicked off Section 8, cut off welfare and all that shit. Well, this bitch threw her son out and uh, he, said he was a grown man. This motherfucker was just cutting himself in front of her and trying to get her attention. She's like, what you doing? <laughs> a lot of women do that for attention. Yeah, they bad shit, yeah. They hurt themselves. They get attention. That's when crazy, man.